minority folks generally who in our city are uh, living in poverty and don't have access to fresh produce. So doing a community garden that has fresh produce for uh, just anyone to come and get kind of is at that intersection. <laughs> Renaissance Park is actually the reason I moved back to Peoria. Uh, there was a lot of stuff going on. Um, I was living in Normal at the time, and I was missing my, t my hometown, and I was already involved in creating and uh, running Peoria Proud, so it kind of made sense to be here. Uh, and all of the amazing work that they were doing kind of inspired me to come back and live in this neighborhood. Like this is we, that's we, this is we, this is we. Yes. Yeah. I think this is a yeah. It's just all community folks doing uh, what the city tried to several years ago when they created Renaissance uh, Park, um, but then they just kind of let it fall to the wayside and the community had to step in and take over, which is pretty cool. Pretty much in everything I do, I, there's a, some um, tie to poverty, racial justice, uh, or um, social justice or everything. <laughs> So many organizations get caught up on, but is that a, a, a gay issue or is that a, an LGBTQ issue? Um, our answer is yes, it is. Um, there's a suit against GM who was, that was specifically discriminating against black women, and they're like they're discriminating against us on the basis of race and on the basis of sex. So they tried to like put a lawsuit together based on those two claims, and the courts were like, well, you can't, you can't double it up. You can't. You have to choose either race or sex. I just wanted to go to this group. I was interested in leading it, but then Marcus said that there, there wasn't anyone who wanted to step up, so I figured, well, I can step up. Because Peoria does have, is in the top 25 most segregated cities in the United States. Uh, so I'm going to be doing some uh, registering uh, voters who are getting ready to vote in the next November election. There's no way to get uh, legislation passed that is supportive of LGBT people or people of color if you don't have legislators that are in power that um, are supportive of those communities. So voting is a very, very important part of the LGBTQ movement. This is what Jokan looks like when it comes to the mail. It is not only your duty, it's a right. I went through a lot of things growing up that I feel uh, no one really should go through. Uh, so I basically work towards making sure that uh, kids that are growing up don't have to face those challenges. And I've also grew up in a way that I think that everyone deserves their rights. And so I work to make sure that everyone is treated fairly.